All right, YouTube, what's up? So I wanted to make a follow-up video on the Helltech BMS and put it through some some actual uh, testing beyond what I did in the last video and to further uh, solidify why I think this is a good idea. Uh, I know there's a lot of people on the internet that just uh, don't think this is a good idea. There's a lot of people that do. Some of the, the guys that are well known tend to think that you don't need it or it's not a good idea. Personally, uh, the evidence that I'm finding is pointing in the direction that it is a good idea, provided that you have one that works properly. There's a lot of crappy ones out there, and I think a lot of people have gotten those, and, and it's left a... Um, you know, a bad, bad experience, and uh, and a lot of people that are not on board with these have probably played with those, and real, and, and that gave them a bad first impression, I guess. But uh, this one works quite well. So what I've done here is I've got uh, my EP ever 60 amp charge controller, uh, bus bars. Uh, my 3000 watt inverter and these two 24 volt lithium uh, iron packs and these are exactly the same packs exactly the same cells the same you know date on the cells and everything from the same batch uh, these two packs are actually used uh, I use on my e-bike e or one of my e-bikes and they're used together uh, in a series to create a 48 volt pack so they're, they're used, they're cycled, and everything exactly the same. Uh, right now, I've got them hooked up into uh, my the system here is a parallel 24. So they're both being charged and both being discharged exactly the same. I've been cycling this system uh, from the solar panels that are up here and been drawing loads uh, for the last couple of days with the inverter. I've been I've put heavy loads on with the media uh, uh, inverter AC. I've used uh, smaller loads, fans and stuff like that just to kind of simulate or emulate uh, normal everyday usage on these packs as the batteries. And as you can see, one pack has the Helltech balancer. And the other pack does not. And mind you, there's no, there's absolutely no BMS in this system right now. I've got the EP Ever charge controller set up to uh, only charge up to 3.45 per cell, which is right at the point before you know, as you're getting into that 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 steep charge curve, and once you cut off there, you you have a very low chance of any one of these cells going above um, the voltage threshold, the high voltage threshold. Uh, so that's kind of kind of a safe spot uh, to make sure that there any one cell is not going to get too crazy. I mean, it's, I'm not saying it's not possible, but uh, it's it's unlikely in this scenario with these these packs that are fairly new and they're all they're all the same cells and everything like that. Uh, also, same thing with the disconnect voltage um, on this thing. So if it gets low, well, I don't actually have my cable hooked up to turn the inverter off, um, but I think the inverter pretty much turns off, turns off before any of these cells hit like 2.7 volts or something like that. So, anyways, this has been running, and now we can see how well these cells are balanced. And um, so, first off. Let's hook up the back go to the pack that has the active has had the active balancer on the whole time. So I'm gonna set you down for just a second. Give me a second here. There we go. Now we can see that pack is just about as well balanced as as you. You know, as you could really expect, you know, it's it's balanced. It's it's just 
really nice and balanced. I'm all done. Okay. Um, now, let's hook up the pack that hasn't had the balancer. And as you can see, it's out of balance. It's 40 millivolts out of balance. It's nowhere near as close to balance as the one that's had the balancer on. Now let's go back to the one that has the balancer on and let's remove the balancer to see if it's just artificially giving us a good balance reading. So I've got it hooked back up. You know, we're at you know roughly four millivolts uh, balance. Well, I guess we spiked up to five. Let's uh, unhook the balancer and see where we're at. Look, we're still nice and solid and balanced. So, take what you will from that. Um, I'm sure there's some discussion to be had whether, I mean, I've heard some people talk about microcycling and things like that. Um, Maybe it's a concern. I don't know. I, that's something that will, I guess, come across in the long term. But uh, to me, it seems like your whole system microcycles anyway. I mean, you're getting power from the sun going in and out of the batteries. You got load that's going out. Um, you, you've got, you know, your charge controllers that, that are that are pulling from the batteries. You know, depending on if there's any sunlight or not. So, uh, you know, I mean, um, and if you if you've got a if you've got a uh, BMS that has a resistive load balancer that burns energy off, well, you're burning energy off. So, with the active balancer, instead of burning that energy off, you're just taking it out of one cell and then putting in in, in charging it into the others. So, I. The whole concern about microcycling, I, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe we have to go into real deep analysis of this and hook up oscilloscopes or something, you know, and monitor it further than that. But to me, the signs are pointing to uh, this is keeping this pack nice and balanced, real solid balance, and uh, it's, you know, it's looking good. So uh, I'm going to keep testing this and I'll give you any updates, anything that I find. Please comment, um, you know, uh, if you have anything to say about it or if you experienced anything with this, these type of balancers. And uh, see you in the next video.